like fabric in a showroom. Camouflage comes in a bewildering array of colors and patterns, and in scales, skin, or fur. Many animals have developed some sort of natural camouflage to either keep them from becoming food or to help them find food. The most clever predators have mastered this weapon to ambush their prey. use camouflage for both offense and defense. The newborn is vulnerable. It could make an easy meal for a snake. It seeks protection immediately. Strong natural instincts guide this master of disguise. With a relatively thin and flat body and skin color that can adjust to its surroundings, Predators often mistake it for either a leaf or an extension of the tree branch. The ruse continues when it travels. Jerky back and forth movements once again mimic a fluttering leaf. Concealing it not only from predators, but also prey. Its eyes move nearly 180 degrees independently to target prey. Once in range, it strikes. Camouflage is only one part of its arsenal. A chameleon's tongue is a concealed weapon. Adult chameleons can reach 68 centimeters in length. and their tongues may grow one and a half times the length of their bodies. The knob-like tip is coated in mucus that sticks to prey. It strikes faster than you can see in real time, about 30 thousandths of a second. holds another predator both well-armed and well-concealed, the cuttlefish. This master of disguise has the ability to project a dazzling array of pulsating colors. But if that weren't enough, the cuttlefish also has an extraordinary ability to transform the shape of its entire body. of the species is the Australian giant cuttlefish. Growing up to 50 centimeters long and sometimes weighing more than five kilograms. With such talent for camouflage, the cuttlefish can creep right up to prey. prepares its main weapon. Two long tentacles tipped with suction cups that capture prey and deliver it to a beak sharp enough to make mincemeat of crab shell. The tentacles fire in a few hundredths of a second. Truly sudden death. Some weapons are meant to be concealed.
others can be brandished quite openly. Claws. They grab and grip. Scratch and gouge. They're useful for digging out a meal or taking it home. Claws are the indispensable weapon of all mammals that hunt, especially the big cats. A lion's claws are like razors, sharp and retractable. Keeping them retracted protects the claws for when they are most needed. As with all cats, the lion's claws play a key role in bringing down prey. Lions have more strength in their paws than almost any other feline. The claws can grow up to 7.5 centimeters. As they get dull, the outer layer sheds, revealing a sharp new claw. Most claws are designed for climbing and digging and catching. But some have bonus features. The pistol shrimp is no bigger than your finger, and it's a crack shot. One of its two claws functions just like a handgun. And other shrimp are targets. When prey is in range, the claw is cocked. The claw snaps shut so fast, it fires a bubble bullet up to 100 kilometers an hour. The bubble bursts and stuns the prey. It all happens in a fraction of a second the fastest gun in the sea. The pistol shrimp is just one of nature's many gunslingers. Meet the sharpshooters. Some prefer long-range combat for their own safety, rather than risk injury by tangling with prey. Others have no choice but to aim for targets outside their element. Among them, these marksmen shoot a whole battery of projectiles. As it wends its way through the rainforest, something captures this velvet worm's attention. No, it's not the fire beetle's flashing green light. Velvet worms are nearly blind, but they're super sensitive to air currents caused by movement. That's how they find their prey. And they love beetles. The worm itself moves so slowly, prey doesn't notice it creeping up. It's packing heat. Two pistols that fire sticky ropes, each up to 30 centimeters long.
This barrage of gunfire is meant to paralyze prey with a quick drying adhesive. Slimed. The worm brandishes yet another concealed weapon, a knife in its jaw used to pierce the body and inject saliva to liquefy the insides. The result, a beetle milkshake. The pitiful beetle is the target of another marksman that stalks the tropics of Asia and Australia. The archer fish, one of the few aquatic predators that can hunt prey outside its element. It forms a tube with its tongue, then squeezes its gill covers to fire. A jet of water shoots out along the roof of its mouth. A shot typically packs 10 times the force a bug uses to hold on. In the struggle for survival, there are two alternatives, fight or flight. And one weapon covers either option. vegetarians, but they can be fiercely competitive when it comes to courting females. And when they combat each other, feet are their weapon of choice. They're armed with extremely muscular hind legs and enormous feet, which help them to execute broad jumps with every hop. This Bigfoot can cross the vast reaches of the Australian outback with ease at peak speeds of up to 70 kilometers an hour. But one thing can stop this speed demon in his tracks, a potential mate. For days during mating season, a male kangaroo, also called Boomer, will follow a female. He shadows her every move. But there are plenty of boomers out there, and fights between them will break out often. And that's when the weapons are unleashed. starts with a quick right jab, then descends into an all-out brawl. This is not just boxing, it's more like martial arts. A favorite tactic? using the forepaws to grip the opponent and then quickly kicking with their huge clawed hind feet. It's a move that can crush bones, disembowel the opponent, even bring death. Fortunately, a referee breaks up this match before it goes too far. But he can't stop the next generation of Joeys from trying some of their own shadow boxing. Nature's battlefields never fall quiet. No treaties, no peace talks, 
just an endless arms race. Weapons of mass destruction developed over millions of years. Because out here, there's no such thing as a non-combatant. On the next mission critical, the Sumatran rhino is one of the oldest creatures on Earth. Nat Geo Wild joins forces with people across the globe. We have two ingredients in saving this species. One is the science, the other one is humanity. See what's being done to keep these beloved animals roaming, nuzzling, and wallowing in the wild. We can make it happen. Operation.